Welcome to Andy's Autos. If you need tyres, tractor parts, car parts, van parts, or even some useless scrap, then Andy can sort it out for you. That's right, Andy's Autos. You just can't miss it at the bottom of the high street, and Andy will be there waiting for you with a smile. Grrr. Bernard, get this bike moved. I've told you about it before. And this is Bernard. Ah, there. I've moved it. There we go. It's out of your way. Ah, good. Now don't let it be there again. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Andy. I didn't mean to. Believe me, Bernard. This is your last chance. Of course, yeah, I won't leave it there again. Please, just allow me to move it. Yes. Move it. I must remember. I can't leave my bike in front of the doors again. It must go around the back. Okay, uh, time for a cup of tea. Ah, oh, yes, this is better. Nice cup of tea. Shame I can't put my feet up. I think I'll have a quick nap. Now. Well, 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 Bernard. That nap of yours has just cost you your job here. Do you know why? No. Perhaps you'd like to go and look outside. Or maybe you'd prefer to have another nap. No, honestly, I really don't know what's going on here. Please, can you just tell me? You parked our company vehicle on a junction, and now the mower on the back has been stolen. I'm very sorry, Bernard, but you're fired. The only thing I was good at, transporting machinery. I wasn't even very good as it was I. <sighs> oh blimey! What's the matter? Eh? I'm sorry. I thought there was a problem. You were shouting. Well, I just dropped my ice cream, haven't I? Oh. Uh, here, let, let me get you another one. Oh, thanks. Chocolate. One chocolate cone. Thanks very much. Uh, are you local? Well, yeah, I am. I've just lost my job. I'm looking for some more work. Ah, oh, well, well, I've just moved in. Next to a farm. Uh, I don't know if they want any help, but... You're welcome to jump in. Can have a word. Really, that, that is so kind of you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Jenkins. Call me Dennis Jenkins. Thank you, uh, Dennis Jenkins. This is me. 
Thank you, Dennis. Uh, is that the farm over there? That'll be the one. This is amazing. Just by helping out this man with an ice cream, he has tried to help me out by uh, finding me some work. He doesn't know for sure, but he thinks that this neighbouring farm might have some work. Uh, I, th I think he mentioned that he had just moved in here. But one thing is for sure. This man has an amazing view over the bay. Hello, I've just been brought across here by your neighbour and I was wondering if you had any work which was uh, available. Ah oh, yes, work. Well, I could do with a bit of help around the farm. That's great, I, I'm happy to do anything. Well, there won't be too much to do at the moment, but I do have the hedge that needs to be cut. Hedge cutting? Yeah, I can definitely give that a go. Have you done it before? Uh, a little bit, many years ago. Uh, I've not really done much recently. Oh, well, it's one of those jobs which is quite easy when you get the hang of it. Well, I would be really happy to give it a go, and uh, I'll try my best. I'm sure you will do. So which tractor would you like me to use? It's all ready to go. You'll find it round the corner. If you go to the far field, out the yard, over to the west. Absolutely. I'll do that straight away. Okay, so we have here a Massey Ferguson tractor without a hedge cutter. Lots of different machines. Combine harvester. Aha! The hedge cutter. Okay, well, I'm going to try my best. He said the field furthest away to the west, so that's the west over there. I know this place at the back of my hand. I've lived in this area for many years, but I've never been up here. I've never needed to because it gets very wild up here. In the winter, you would not want to be around these parts. So this is it, the Case Maxim 5150 with a McConnell hedge cutter. I'm just going to do a walk around check and we'll do some pre-star checks. I learned that at the dealership where they repair the different machines. I never actually repaired anything myself, but I did pick up a few tips here and there. Okay, so I'm just sat here in the uh, tractor and I've just been trying to familiarise myself with all the different controls. Uh, I really don't want to mess this up. I, I really messed up earlier with the repair shop. I'm grateful for any work really, because I have nearly no money. I'm currently staying in a hotel and it's costing a fortune. I can't even afford a house. It wasn't too bad when I worked for the repair shop. The wage was okay. But really, Andy was starting to get on my nerves. Is this the field? I think so. He said the hedge over to the far west, which is over here. It must be that hedge over there. Okay, I don't want to drive on this field because I don't know what's in here. It looks like it's just been cultivated, but I think we're going to have to drive on it a bit to do the hedge cutting, by the look of it.
I think I'm getting the hang of it. I suppose it's like everything. As soon as you have the experience. It looks quite level. I'll try my best to keep it level. I suppose you're going to want to do it on the other side as well, so I'm going to have to reach the flail across. Ok, I've just jumped out and you can see that I have now cut this piece here. And it's a good height. A very good height. So if I could do the same thing on the other side, that'd be great, because then we can make a nice level top. And, uh, well, this is my first opportunity to impress this farmer. And with a bit of luck, I might be able to get a full-time job here. I need something. I need the money. Right. Okay, we're going to turn it off there. Um, well, I'm quite happy with that. I think that looks quite good. I don't know if it's too low. I don't think so. I think it's just the right height. Okay, well, I'm going to go and speak to this man. I don't even know his name. Um, but we'll see if he likes it. Hopefully he does. I don't think I've missed anything. I've tried to keep it neat and level. And it does seem to be. As you can see. It's quite a, a clean cut over the top. I've gone to speak to him. I've gone to put the trash away. I really hope that I've done a good job. Okay, for a view from over here. I think it looks good. I hope it looks good. I hope I'm not just thinking what I want to think. I've got to say, it is very beautiful up here, even though it would be so wild on a wet and windy day. In the sunshine though, it's beautiful. Okay, that would do. Pop it there. And yeah, I don't know if he can see from here, I don't think he can, unless he can see from one of those windows. Uh, yeah, let's just go and uh, let him know that it's been done. I wish so much that there is a future job in this. Or maybe Dennis has something? Is it all done? Yep, it's all done. I don't know if you've seen it. Not yet, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, you seem like a, a decent kind of person. I'm up here, alone. And, well, I don't usually tell people, but I have a terminal illness. I am so sorry to hear that. Well, these things do happen. I'm very old. I've been running the farm on my own for years. I, I, if there's anything I can do to help you, please do just let me know. Well, there is one thing. Could you get rid of that new neighbour of mine? He's an absolute pest. Well, Dennis? He's the one that told me about you. Ah, oh, yes, but he came round here at two in the morning asking for some tap water. His plumbing's fine. I'll see what I can do.